Garland Grill Course was here, and everybody, I'm talking about city officials, I'm talking senators, councilmen, congresspeople, and the reason why they made this an historic site. I'm talking about the Rackham Golf Course, and back in the 1920s when he decided to give this and his family, I'm speaking of Horace, to the city, they wanted to make sure that it was an inclusive golf course. I'm talking of public links. And back in the 1930s, well, there was a brother by the name of Ben Davis who became the first African-American golf pro in Michigan. Also got the first African-American to ever get a PGA card back in 1966. He was the first of many, but it was about that mission, making sure that they opened the doors of golf to everyone of color. And he did it so well, and that's why today, this became an historic monument and marker. This course represents is the game being inclusive. The Rackham Golf Course has been a public design of specialty and royalty. 1923, when the city got the keys to it from Horace and Mary Rackman. But now, years later, they are still being honored for being among the first to open the doors to minorities. To have this marker represent both Mr. Davis and the Rackham family for the establishment of this course, them coming together, I think is really quite innovative. And so I really want to want to thank the, the folks on the commission and the local leadership who fought to make that happen because hearing both of those stories together is really what makes the transformation. Having a historical marker, it, it's, it's really a, a lasting memory and it's something that will always be here. So I have a, a six-year-old granddaughter now, so maybe one day she's taking golf and drives up here, she'll be able to say, oh yeah, that was my, my, one of my uncles.